They're one of Africa's key symbols of female emancipation, as well as musical excellence. The Amazons of Guinea is an orchestra made up entirely of women soldiers. They've been singing about respect, patriotism and feminism since 1961, and they're still going strong. Our message is that we women shouldn't think of ourselves as women. We should think of ourselves like men. Anything men can do, women can do too. So we women have to get up and get on with it. In a 50-year existence, the Amazons have played to audiences across the continent. Yet despite their popularity, they're still a working part of the Guinean armed forces, meaning the group has only ever had a chance to record two albums. Their schedule is tied to the country's political situation. When it's going well, they're free to travel. When it's not going well, they hang up their guitars and drumsticks and take to the road to help defend our territorial integrity. And that's exactly what happened at the end of June during the presidential elections, the first free and transparent elections since independence in 1958. The ruling military powers are now preparing to hand the reins of government back to the people. For the Amazons, that's a great leap forward. The military was there to manage the country, to prepare for elections. And elections have happened. If the people agree, I'm no politician. But if the people agree, then that's all we've been looking for, for a civilian to be our president. I think that everyone will accept that. And any new government will want to make sure these musicians in fatigues continue to play a role. After half a century fighting prejudice, they're not ready to change their tune just yet. Yeah.